Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Master, where we rank, review, trailer act, and talk news about movies, TV shows, and sometimes video games. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about Venom Let There Be Carnage, released in 2019. After Venom 1, actually quite good moderate success that made as much money as Homecoming, the film got a sequel with the director being replaced with Andy Serkis, and his goal was to make a much more different Venom experience, and this time, bring in the ultimate baddie, Carnage. So yeah, looks like by the looks of it, they're gonna bring in some carnage. So I hope that I hope you guys enjoy the review, and let's just get right into it. The good part was the characters. I really thought Eddie's character was very well handled. His arc of um yeah, him and Venom's arc of their bromance, and the fact that Venom is kind of I believe he confirmed he's gay, and the fact that him and the Ed, him and Eddie's relationship was very tightened, and they wanted to go there, beat up bad guys for Venom, especially was to kill them. So that was a very unique thing to do, and. I thought it was really unique and cool how the characters are handled. Cletus Cassidy, Shriek, Annie, all of them were handled very well, and I thought they were very well done. And it was nice seeing those characters all back and seeing them all so well done. And in my opinion, I was just very happy. And I thought it was very awesome, and the way they just handled all these characters was just so well brilliant. And I just really thought the characters in this film were handled to the wellest of their abilities. And they could be more different this time. They're more varied. They kept some of the good bits and bad bits. Um, another good thing is the tone. They actually kept the tone quite consistent with a bit of comedy and partially partially um, dark. I wish they kind of went more dark than comedy. But, but they kind of captured the tone of the Venom comics. So you can kind of see from the 90s they captured the perfect Venom comic feel. And I just felt like the tone was brilliantly well done and they adapted it very well indeed. And I thought that was very amazingly well done. And another point of it is that the villains. The villains were just amazing. I thought the villains were brilliant. They were really well done. Shriek was a nicely done villain. Cletus Cassidy, he was just awesome. Carnage, awesome. Another point in it, Carnage was just awesome. He was just awesome. His suit looked awesome. And the fact that he killed a guard just because he mentioned a family, which is what Cletus wanted, was so unique. And it was a tiny bit sad to see Carnage get eaten and Cletus die. It was a tiny bit sad because now we're not going to kind of see his villain anymore. And it was very sad in the end that all Cletus wanted was a friend, was friendship from Eddie. But yet he did it to very crazy lengths to try and get that friendship. And just how they did all these characters at the start it wasn't how they were at the end. And how the characters were at the start of Venom 1 was different at the end. So yeah, overall, this one was better with the characters, it was better with the villains, it was better with Carnage's character. And it felt like they adapted it properly, because I don't think the Raimi films, no offense, nor the web films could have given him justice. Because while well, he's literally a symbiote, that's not really groundable in reality. It would be good for the MCU, but overall, yeah. Carnage, yeah, like I said, it's just such a unique thing. Carnage is a unique character, and I really liked how they did his character. And overall, this setup for the future films like Craven the Hunter, which is a film with Aaron Taylor Johnson in production, is getting made. Moebius, which will be releasing next year, and I'm not going to see that. Um, those two will be the next films in line, and maybe even a Venom 3 slash Spider-Man vs. Venom film will be on the horizon, along with another trilogy of Spider-Man films that will be mainly within the MCU's continuity. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm very excited to see what they can set up for the future of the franchise, and I really feel like they'll set up the future. And the way it just ended feel really well, and I really liked how they ended it. And it just felt so nice, and obviously they had to run from the law now, but I really did like how they set up for the future. The good is that the characters were amazingly well done, the villains were well done, the carnage, the MCU, the setup for the future, and the MCU crossover they're going to do with Spider-Man, where, in the spoiler alert to the film, remember, spoilers, for those who haven't seen it, get out now while you can. Venom crosses over into the MCU, which is just so awesome, in my opinion, that he crosses over into the MCU and sees Peter Parker on the TV screen in a bit of a broken canon way when they could have just let him keep his mask on. But they did so well with that and made him now canon to the MCU and the MCU crossover. And I'm excited to see what the future could be for Venom and his character. And I'm excited to see what it will bring to his character. And it will be so fascinating because Carnage was so well done. The first film was alright as I said. This film was way better in my opinion. It did a better tone. It did a better way of his character. It was unique. It gave him character arcs. It showed the tension between the relationship and did that well. And yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed that, and that will be the new ending of Spider-Man Month. And overall, I give this review a 9 out of 10. 
Now that was all for the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Sorry for making this a bit cl cl not very bare, very pretty bare bone review for a re review video, but I haven't exactly seen the entire film, so I'm not surprised that it's pretty bare bone. One day I will see it, and one day you will get this updated, but overall. Yeah, will I review this game? Maybe if I don't want, if I'm very more awake when I do these another time. But overall, yeah. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys for the next videos. Okay? See you. Later. And the next movie I'll be reviewing will be Spider Man No Way Home. Enjoy that, and hopefully, enjoy this. So, yeah. Enjoy the videos, and I'll see you guys in the future.